right at the uh, cold face of the business with some of the best engineers in the sport. How much is the sport and how much is the, the race car and the success of the team down to obviously you and, and Sebastian as drivers versus the engineering side? Well, first of all, it's a pleasure to be here. Thanks for having us here today. Uh, it was great to see some of the guys with the uh, car that they designed for this year's competition over in Michigan. So uh, they had a, a good run over there and they, they know what they have to do to improve for next year, which is always good. Um, I think, uh, as Jason touched on, it, what an incredible opportunity to have uh, a chance to go and work at Infinity Ripple Racing for a, for a full season. Uh, the two lucky winners, uh, that would be just an absolute chance of a lifetime, I believe. They would never ever forget uh, what they would learn in that environment, in that scenario. Uh, also getting paid well, I hope. So, uh, I'm sure Infinity will pay you well, or someone's going to pay you. Um, but that would be an absolute buzz for you guys. So, uh, yeah, really, really, really work hard and do what you can to try to achieve that uh, incredible... Uh, ambition and that slot that you might be able to achieve there, but uh, for me, working with the engineers and uh, the, the the whole team, let's say, uh, it's something which you you also grow with. You know, I I didn't really know a huge amount about engineering the car or what we need to do because I was the same age as you guys. So uh, I got experience through racing myself, working with good people. And ultimately then you arrive in Formula One where you have uh, the best engineers in the world with the best technology, with the best partners, understanding what they can do to increase the performance of the car, working with better materials, working with uh, different stiffness levels, all types of physics and engineering challenges that they want to take on uh, because the bar is always going up particularly in our company, with Adrian Newey, who is obviously one of the best in the world, if not the best in the world in, 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 in car racing design. Uh, so the people that work under Adrian know that he has the bar very, very high, and what was available on Monday needs to be different on Tuesday. So uh, he's very much like that. So, yeah, Seb and I, of course, we work very close with the engineers. Uh, it's important for us to give the feedback on the car. Uh, because there's no such thing as a perfect racing car, it's always a compromise. We want to make sure that we have uh, the compromises in the best way possible. And, yeah, try to get relay to them in their language. And that's another strength of Adrian's, is that he understands uh, what we're trying to say to him, because they're so, you know, I suppose, they, they've got such capacity, and they've only really worked with a, with a laptop that it's not easy for us to try to explain what we want from the car, but the really, really good guys can also understand what we really want from the car and how we can make it better. So, uh, yeah, without the engineers, uh, we are nothing. There's a lot of great people.